This is John Kohler with DiscountJuicers.com. Today I have a very special treat for you. We have a couple announcements. The first announcement is simply this. The original Omega Vert 330 juicer price has been reduced by $20. So it's now at a lower price, the lowest price ever. So that's simply amazing. The next update is that Omega has officially upgraded and improved the white juicing screen that comes with the original Omega Vert 330. You may have seen my other videos where I preach to only get the Omega Vert 330 HD or the Omega Vert 350 HD with the Ultim screen that's eight times stronger. But Omega is now confirming that they have upgraded the white screen and that the white screen should be fine for most people unless you're into juicing as a major lifestyle change like I am and maybe some of you guys are but if you just are getting into new and into juicing and you're not sure you're gonna do it a lot you know what this model the original vert 330 is probably gonna do fine for you and the other thing to remember is is that Omega has made improvements to this model since it originally came out so if you are reading reviews on the Omega vert 330 you know, you're probably reading reviews on the first revision when it was originally introduced into this country. And that I have right here, and we'll go over that in a second. So I really like Omega because Omega takes my suggestions and customer suggestions. They find out what's working, what's not working, and they make improvements to make their machines better. As soon as I get one of their machines, you know, I'm sure to give them my constructive feedback and let them know how to improve their machines. And in many cases, they take my, you know, uh, comments and make adjustments to their machines to only improve them so that your guys' juicing experiences are only better and the machine is more durable. So this is the current production model of the Omega Vert 330 and this is the original model Vert 330. Actually this is the original Vert 330 they sent me when I got my first unit a long time ago. So what we're going to do today is we're going to go ahead and take this off the top of the machine and we're going to take these up. Uh, you know, uh, housings apart one by one. Once again, this is the new one, this is the old one, and we're gonna see the differences. So we're just gonna go ahead and turn the top off. And once again, these tops, there's been no improvements to this top part. These top parts are identical. Uh, the next part to come out are the augers. Basically, these augers, they're basically identical. There's no major improvements to the augers. Once again, these augers are made out of the uh, GE Ultim material, and they're eight times harder. Haven't had any problems with those. The next part to come out is uh, this part here, the wiping blades. And there's no major improvements to the wiping blades. These are actually quite durable and have held up really well. So the next part we're gonna talk about are the screens here. So this is the screen out of the uh, improved Omega Vert 330. This is the uh, current production model. And here's the original screen. So you can see on this original screen, the white screen would get these uh, cracks at first they'd appear as cracks, maybe not going through all the way, then they'd kind of go down all the way. Here's some cracks here on the bottom. And uh, what Omega has done simply, and you could kind of look at, at the plastic on this, they've improved the quality of the plastic that they're using. So although this is not the Ultim screen, you could see the, the, the color of this plastic. This is a lot whiter, and this is a little bit uh, you know, darker color. So the plastic, number one, has been strengthened, and number two, the main thing they've done is that uh, when they're forming and setting the screen into the plastic mold, the injection mold, they've basically adjusted the tabs that get inserted into the plastic uh, to basically improve and strengthen it on the Omega Vert 330 as well as the Omega 8000 series of juicers. So all the screens across the Omega whole line actually have been improved by basically uh, adjusting the tabs that gets set into the plastic, plus this plastic has been improved. And I can definitely see the uh, difference in the color. The other main difference, and you can see that if I place these side by side, is the openings. So this side we have the original opening on the uh, Omega Vert 330 when it originally was introduced. And you can see here, that's actually a fairly small opening. On this side here, this is the current production model opening. And let's put those side by side so you can kind of compare them. And look at that, I mean that's significantly larger, that's 28% larger right there. And you know what this does is, with this smaller opening, a lot of users in the beginning were complaining of pulp backing up and this and that to a large extent. 
Now with the larger 28% bigger opening, that has been greatly reduced, so that's not as much of a problem. That being said, when you're juicing celery and stringy vegetables, it's always recommended that you cut those up into little small, you know, one inch to two inch pieces at the most so that there's not a lot of string to get caught because this, you know, opening can still get clogged up if you're not rotating your produce properly through the machine. So that's these two parts right here. Let's go ahead and put those aside. So next, let's go over the different bowls and the main differences in the bowls. The number one thing you'll see is on this uh, bowl where the juice comes out, there's this little line. So it prevents you from getting sticking your finger up in there. On the original bowl, it didn't actually have that. It was just a straight shot. The uh, other thing that's very different on the bottom is on the old bowl, this uh, plastic flap just came out. And one of the things that would happen a lot is that they would get lost. On the new bottle, which I really like a lot, they've actually put it on a hinge. So this thing just hinges out to clean it, and when you're not cleaning, you can put it back in, and you're ready for juicing. Of course, the other thing that we can't get a super uh, good shot on, but also because these, this, these screens fit into the bowl here, the original bowl had a 28% smaller outlet hole size. So if you try to take the new screen and fit it in the old bowl, it just simply won't seat in there because the new bowl, once again, has the larger 28% larger hole in it that'll fit the 28% larger screen of the you know, current production model Vert 330. So those are all the differences with the Omega Vert 330. And once again, let's go ahead and show you how to quickly assemble the unit. Once again, you're gonna take your main bowl and uh, you know there's these little tabs. You're gonna set it on these locking tabs, set it on there, and turn it to the right, it locks into place, nice and tight. Then you're gonna take the uh, wiping blade assembly and put that onto the screen, put that in. Then you're gonna take this red dot on your screen, line that up with the red dot on the juicer that's right there, make sure they're in line. Then your screen seats firmly into the machine. Next, you're gonna take your auger, set the auger into the machine. It's gonna sit there firmly. Then finally, you're going to take the top. There's a little uh, arrow here, gray arrow. You're going to line that up with the red dot. And then once again, you're going to rotate that clockwise, and it's going to lock in place. And then you're going to be all ready to juice. So the one thing to remember when assembling the Omega Vert Juicer, if you do put this top on backwards and you don't line up the arrow in the circle, you can put this on backwards. And if you put it on backwards and lock it into place, and try to turn it on, the machine will not turn on because there's a safety interlock that'll only allow the machine to turn on if you have it properly assembled. So that's very important to remember to properly assemble your juicer. If it doesn't turn on, you know, take it all apart, start over, reassemble it, and uh, you know, double check to make sure it is properly assembled. So that's basically the update on the original Omega Vert 330 juicer. Basically the screen has been improved, including the plastic and the tabs that basically locked the metal into the plastic housing. So it's strengthened much further and has been upgraded with the larger, 28% larger hole to prevent back clogging. So Omega is continually working to improve their machines. So Omega states that for most people, the original Omega Vert 330, which has been improved once again, will be fine for most people juicing. And plus it's at a new lower price. So it's the least expensive vertical single auger juicer on the market at this time. And I do want to remind you, should you have problems with the upgraded white Omega Vert 330 screen, it is fully covered under warranty. So if, you're, if your juicing screen should crack and stop working, you know, basically because it's cracking, that's due to defect. And the machine has a full 10 year warranty. So get on the phone, give Omega a call, uh, you know, you may have to send a picture or send the old screen back to them and they'll basically replace your screen at no charge under warranty. So the second update to this video is that the uh, Omega Vert 350 HD that has been out of stock for over a month now is soon to be back in stock. So if you're hearing this message, it's probably actually back in stock or it's available for pre-order at discountjuicers.com. It should ship later this week. Uh, we will have sufficient stock to meet all our back orders and are taking new orders and we'll ship those out in the order received. 
That being said, there is currently a shortage on the Omega Vert 350 HD juicer due to the fact that you know uh, the sales are far exceeding the original sales forecast. Plus, the factory in Korea just cannot keep up with the current demand. So those are the two updates. Hope you learned a little bit more about the original Omega Vert 330 and the availability of the Omega Vert 350 HD juicer. Once again, this is John Kohler with DiscountJuicers.com. Be sure to visit DiscountJuicers.com slash YouTube for special promotional offers for our YouTube visitors.